Leukopoiesis is the production of white blood cells, again from those hemopoietic stem cells. The process of leukopoiesis is controlled by cytokines that are released into the bloodstream, communicating with those stem cells to cause them to differentiate into one of the many different types of blood cells. Now, I'm not super concerned about you knowing all of the cytokines. There's actually quite a number of them. These are only a few of them that communicate with those stem cells and cause them to develop. But I do want you to notice that, um, for example, this granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor. These are going to be generating or stimulating the white or the stem cell into producing granulocytes and monocytes. That's the basic idea there. And so you're going to get your neutrophils and your monocytes and your basophils and so forth from this process. There are other very specific types of cytokines, cytokines that stimulate only the production of neutrophils, cytokines that stimulate only the production of monocytes, and so forth and so on. At each stage of hemoatopoiesis, these cytokines will influence the development of the cell. So if you recall back, and we can even flip back there really quickly, boop, boop, there we go, that's platelets. Hold on, there we go. If you recall, that stem cell uh, will develop into the myeloid stem cell, and then from there we can get the platelets, the blood cells. If we're going to be a uh, white blood cell, the myeloid stem cell becomes this myeloblast. It's not quite the same as the stem cells previously, it's a little bit more specialized. But then that myeloblast will divide, and it's not shown in this figure, but it will divide again and produce other cells. And again, at each of these stages, we're bombarding this process with those cytokines. And so we can produce from this myoblast, as it divides and develops, we can produce a number of different white blood cells through this process. So let's go back to where I want to be. Here we go. Now, leukopoiesis, uh, for right now, knowing the names, a lot of the information becomes very relevant when we talk about the immune system. Thrombopoiesis, as the name suggests, is the production of platelets. And we're not producing platelets just from the stem cells. The stem cells have to develop and grow and differentiate until eventually they are megakaryocytes. These are humongous. For reference, here's a seven, uh, seven micrometer size cell, okay? So if you figure how many of those can you fit, these are quite large cells. And they have a large nucleus, multi-lobes, they have their mitochondria, but then all of this, you see all of that? That's all endoplasmic reticulum. And so when these cells start producing platelets, little segments of it start to break off, containing proteins made by the endoplasmic reticulum. They are not active when they are first formed, but they can and quickly will become activated. Lifespan is very short. Uh, so this process is a constant ongoing process.